To no one's surprise, sea wings are my favorite tribe. I have a couple of sub-tribe ideas for them, but I'll try to split up my coverage of them so y'all don't get too bored. The tribal variants on sea wings I'm going to be doing today is called deep sea wings. Sea wings who live deep in the sea, as the name implies. I brought this idea up a year ago or so on my tribal head cannons video, and since then, my ideas for them have only expanded. So I'm going to be going over the deep sea wing tribe today. Before we get started, if you are new to the channel, please think about subscribing. I regularly post both Wings of Fire and War of Cats content so you'll never be bored. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for supporting me, I wouldn't have gone here without y'all. Now onto the tribe. Let's start with how they look. Deep sea wings look a bit different than sea wings as one would imagine. Their wings have become fins along the back due to their ancestors not flying and spending their time underwater. Deep sea wings are also much larger than regular sea wings because of the pressure of the deep sea. They tend to be around 1.5 times larger on average, making them the largest dragon tribe. If they were a full tribe, they are a sub-tribe. Their eyes are much larger than surface sea wings. They don't see color as well and are very sensitive to light. Because of that, their bioluminescent scales aren't as bright as sea wings, but they still are bright enough to lure in prey. The tribe also has large teeth, a feature common among deep sea creatures. Deep sea wing scales are easier to puncture than regular sea wing scales. Scales in the tribe are red or black. I thought about making them transparent like some squids or jellyfish, but at that size, I don't think it would be realistic. It was a cool idea though. The diet of a deep sea wing is composed of squids, whales, and jellyfish. Sea wings like to insult them and call them bomb feeders because of the assumption that they eat whale fall and scavenge. Because of the large amounts of food needed to sustain even one deep sea wing, their numbers are pretty spread out. Deep sea wings often live in pods and do not have a very and do not have a very organized society. Due to where they live, deep sea wings are isolated from the main tribe. Deep sea wings aren't very involved in the sea wing government, which doesn't matter because the sea wing government pretty much allows them to do whatever they want as long as they aren't getting too chaotic. Sea wings will often use deep sea wings as the punchline of jokes, mainly your legs are so thin you look like a deep sea wing, and jokes like that. There are a lot of superstitions surrounding deep sea wings, such as that they will drag dragons down into the depths of the sea and drown them. Now, how did the tribal variants found within deep sea wings begin to form? The supposed founder of the deep sea wing subtribe was a bastard child of the sea wing king who wanted the throne. She was refused to challenge requests by the incumbent queen, and because of that, she built up a rebellion of moderate size to take the throne in a different way. The reigning queen was able to defeat the rebellion and push them back to the deep reaches of the sea. In order to make sure that the rebellion did not try and take over once more, she assigned guards to patrol the area. When the queen after the next came along and took down the restrictions, a few generations had passed in the deep. Because of that, the descendants of the rebellion did not have anywhere to return to and decided to stay down there. Over the years, natural selection and other forces have shaped the dragons that once were sea wings into their own distinct subtribe, the deep sea wings. Here's what they look like nowadays. If you have any other tribes you'd like to see me make variants of, comment them down below. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I make Wings of Fire and War Cats videos pretty often, and your support would mean a lot to me. And to those who've already subscribed, thank you for your continued support. I wouldn't have gone here without y'all. Peace, Rogan out.